Hey everyone, we're back here in real office and we're sitting in the uh, client database. And so here's our client we created last time, Sally Starsmith. And if you missed how to do that, just go and check out the uh, previous video. In this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through and add some information to that client once we've added them into our database. So let's say you, you know, you're perusing social media or you have a conversation with them, you learn a little bit more, well, what do you do? So we go into Sally Starsmith and you'll notice a couple things. We've got our summary information up at the top here, and then as I scroll down, you've got a series of five tabs. You've got a details, properties, deals, tasks, and notes. So first, let's go into the details. So we've obviously got basic information, but let's say we want to add more things. So we want to add more phone numbers, add more emails. You can either easily just collapse this area, or you can expand it. And every time you expand a section, there'll be these little ed edit buttons. So we'll click on the edit button. And again, it's gonna pull out this panel here and you'll see that there's more information. So we can add a picture. So let's add a picture of Sally. I'm gonna add one from my uh, uh, computer here. I've got some pictures floating around and go in here. There we go, we've got client pick eight, here we go. Perfect, so there's Sally. And Sally works at, again, Acme Co. So it's perfect. Birthday, Sally was born. Again, if you click on the month and the year, it will collapse this calendar and then you can simply scroll up quick to, to get through to the different years. So, so I was born in uh, February of 1982, February 9th. Good, good year there. And so right now I have a phone number. It's considered a home. I'm gonna switch that to their mobile and I can add in another phone number. Let's say I have their, their home number here. I can go 403 and I'll make that their home number. So we can have two of those numbers. And if you have extra emails, you can add it in there. So that's how you would update the basic information. So we'll save and continue there. You'll see that the picture is now populated with Sally and we've got a, a bit more stuff. So if you want to do the same thing with uh, spouse information, you can come in here and edit that. So I just, again, I click the expand arrow and click edit. And you'll see that I can edit in their spouse information. So wedding anniversary, birthday, et cetera, all that good stuff. You can do the same thing for children, pets, and their mailing address. So for example, pets, let's say Sally has a cat. Uh, that cat's name is uh, Fluffy. There it is right there. You know, you might wanna know when the cat's birthday was, so we'll click on here. It was probably, uh, you know, uh, October 4th, 2016. And Fluffy likes, uh, you know, cat treats, something like that keep that in there. So again, you can keep this as exhaustive as you want, it's up to you. So you can have all that information. So what about property information? So let's say Sally owns a couple properties, or maybe just one. You can come in here, it can add a property. So we can come in here, we can click add property information again. We're in real estate, so this is pretty important. So we just start with typing in the address. So I'm gonna put an address here. How about five new street southeast? And you'll notice every time I'm typing there, it's looking things up. So it doesn't look like five new street exists. Maybe try six new street, something like that. New street. There we go, six new street southeast. We'll do Calgary right there. Auto populates all the information. If you know the rest of the postal code, you can put that in there. What is it? Residential detached. I'm going to put it, say, uh, you know, duplex up, down. And if I know what she purchased it for, I can put that in. So let's say uh, 450000 and she bought that back in, let's say, just before she got her cat there, so December 2nd, 2015. Now you can add more details to this property right here by clicking this tab. You can see you've got square footage, lot dimensions, et cetera. None of it's mandatory, and we can just go ahead and add that property right now. You'll see now that Sally has this property, if we were to click on it, you can expand and you've got all these other fields that you can add information to. So you can see it's quite exhaustive here from a, a CRM point of view. If we go to deals, this is gonna show us if we have any deals that we've done with Sally. Tasks, anything that we have to do for Sally, do now, upcoming, or completed tasks, and then notes. So again, if you wanna take any notes on Sally. So for example, I'm gonna write a note here and it's called uh, Coffee April 2018, met for coffee, and Sally told me about her intention to, oops, intention to become a property flipper. Follow up in the future. So we're gonna add that as a note and it's saved under Sally's profile. So to go back to the manager, we'll go here to the list view and you'll see that now I've got property under there. I don't have any activities due because I didn't set any tasks. I'm not doing any deals with her and it shows that caption. So 
that's the end of this video. And in the next one, we'll show you how to import some clients.